Good afternoon, my friends. Mike Johnson here with the Monday edition of Quick Tips at 5. This whole week of Thanksgiving, we're going to be talking about why gratitude is so important. And why it's important to our lives. Why it's important that we be grateful. Today we're going to discuss how gratitude enhances our well-being. Well, sometimes we show our gratefulness thinking that we're helping the other person feel good about whatever they did, but it also has a positive effect on us. A 2003 study compared the well-being of participants who kept a weekly list of things they were grateful for to participants who kept a list of things that irritated them, or neutral things. The researchers showed that the gratitude-focused participants exhibited increased well-being, and they concluded that a conscious focus on blessings may have emotional and interpersonal benefits. That's a, that's a lo long way about saying that it helps us feel better. The participants didn't begin the study any more grateful or ungrateful than anyone else. And they didn't change their lives during the study so that they'd have more to be grateful for. They just turned their outlook to one of gratitude and they were happier for it. Now how does gratitude do this? Well, one way is stimulating two important regions in our brains. The hypothalamus, which regulates stress, and the ventral tegmental area, which plays a significant role in the brain's reward system. That produces feelings of pleasure. Are you worried that writing a spontaneous thank you note to a friend will make them feel awkward? Or that it won't mean much to them? Well, science says that you'd be wrong. A study published in Psychology, Psychological Science in June 2018 reveals that people often miscalculate how a heartfelt thank you note will be received. Researchers asked a group of 100 participants to write letters of gratitude to someone whom they were thankful for, like a friend or a teacher. Now, while these weren't just quick thanks for my Christmas present notes, the, the research doctor observed that the gratitude letters took less than five minutes to write, and participants were then asked to rate how surprised, happy, or awkward they predicted the, particip the other participant would feel. And finally, the recipients were asked to assess how the letter actually made them feel. And it turns out that the note writers greatly overestimated how awkward the recipients would feel and how insincere the notes would seem. And they greatly underestimated the positive effects that they would have. Science reporter for the New York Times, Heather Murphy, wrote that after receiving thank you notes and filling out questionnaires about how it felt to get them, Many said that they were ecstatic, scoring the happiness rating at four of five. The senders typically guess that they'd evoke a two or a three. Now, if expressing gratitude, even when the thing might seem insignificant, can in increase your well-being and help reduce stress, why not do it more often? When was the last time that you wrote a thank you note to someone who did or said something nice or helpful to you. And why wouldn't we do it? If it helps others and it helps ourselves. I know that we have Thanksgiving as a holiday once a year, but gratefulness should be a daily practice. I really hope that this has been helpful and you'll smash that, that share button and the like button so that we can help everyone's well-being. And I just want to say a heartfelt thank you for listening, coming along with me on this journey. Some of you listen to me every day, and I, I greatly appreciate that. 
I know you know. I love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Take care. Mike out.